Thank you so much for tuning in once again to americasmansman.com. Actually, you're not tuning into anything. You're pressing a a button which isn't really a button which begins a never-ending stream of packets which get to your computer, but that's not what this is about. This is about taking the Lord's name in vain and and why you shouldn't do it. And many of you are thinking, "Well, I'm a good person and, you know, Maybe you've seen Left Behind. I'm not going to go that route. I want to I want to blow your mind by taking this in an entirely, almost an entirely different direction. Of course, everything I do here at AmericasMansMan.com is really just reminding us of the old, old story. This is not the gospel of Donald Trump. This is not the gospel of Peter Vidala. Not the gospel of America's man's man, unless by that man you mean Jesus Christ. Because at the end of the day, that is the uh, that is what makes America different. If we are a superior nation, it's not because we have superior genes. Um, and, uh, you know, the Nazis, um, you know, thought they had a superior race of people. I mean, it's not a bad race. And, uh, you know, we, we actually, America actually comes from a really good race of people. But um, here's the thing. If you don't have that Christian, that Christian, I don't want to call it intelligence, because the term intelligence uh, has the connotation of being cerebral. Um, so I want to want to be a little more precise. If you don't have that Christian wisdom, everything goes to uh, C R A P, right? <laughs> everything goes, uh, everything goes haywire. In fact, America actually kind of invented Nazism. It planted the seed, I think, of Nazism with the whole eugenics thing. Good old Oliver Wendell Holmes from... Where did he come from? Well, he came from the hub of the universe is where Oliver Wendell Holmes came from. And he had this idea that we got to just... <laughs> we got to uh, castrate or sterilize all the invalids like you may spay or neuter a dog. That was his grand idea. One of our fine Supreme Court justices. And the Nazis, Germany, uh, you notice, did what they do with everything. They're doing it now. <clears throat> they run with it. And they run way too far. They take, they take an interesting idea. <laughs> interesting idea. I'm not, I'm not going to assign a value judgment because, honestly, my mind isn't totally settled. But, but this whole idea of, well, we have to encourage... I don't think it's a bad idea to encourage good breeding. Um... It's not a bad idea. Now, I, I think it's wrong to murder people. I think it's wrong to kill people. But I, I think the idea that... Um, it's like, why would you intentionally... You know, like, I was living in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And <laughs> as a missionary, I was staying with a, a couple. And they had this... Uh, it was They were so wonderful to it. But it was it was a retarded dog. It was, and it had all kinds of problems. Because this, um, this unlicensed breeder had... Um, had gone around town peddling all of these inbred dogs to people and they had no idea what they were buying at the time but then they grew up and it was just it was a very sad it was a sad sad story um and how the heck did we get here oh so breeding uh good breeding uh you know what goes for dogs in some cases i guess uh you know it isn't totally a bad idea for humans but 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 the thing is you you get it's the obsession it's it's the lack of balance it's the degree to which people get carried away with it um where you start violating moral objectives wrongs and rights and that's the problem that's that's what the nazis definitely screwed <laughs> i don't want to say they screwed up because it's an understatement there's a you know they were, they were obviously they were way wrong um and we don't want to we don't want to suggest uh, that uh, that we want to see anything like that again, even though it's happening with the abortion holocaust, um, which is also way wrong. We should not be murdering babies. <laughs> um, and any of you who uh, are and haven't repented, or you know Nancy Pelosi, who's presiding over all this, uh, you know you're, you're going to hell. Okay, so repent and stop. Okay, because that's not cool. Not cool at all. Um, <clears throat> Why shouldn't we take the Lord's name in vain, though? Uh, well, okay, so let's let's attack the false premise that many of you are operating under when you say, oh, it's a big ideal, and F that, sh you know, Shinola, as uh, someone recently said to me, I, and I got I got to deal with this because this, uh, this is a big issue. It really is. You don't realize it's a big issue because they, they've, they've minimized it as what the communists have done through uh, government school, uh, atheistic, communist brainwashing, 
they've convinced you that, well, you know, in some cultures it's, it's, uh, you know, it's just frowned upon just, just because it's, uh, inconsequential, inconsequential tradition, which has just led people to kind of get, get things up in their goat about certain things. And, uh, and this thing about taking the Lord's name in vain, you know, in, in, uh, in, in China or, I don't know, wherever in, in, in India or I don't know, wherever they worship the, the Buddha, you know, it may be frowned upon to say bad things about the Buddha. And, you know, in America, we just happen to have this little bug about when people say Jesus Christ in vain. It's just, it's all relative. And there's no harm in taking the Lord's name in vain because, you know, if you grew up in China, then it would be perfectly fine. But that, um, you know, we are a superior nation and we are a superior nation just because that's why it's in the globalist interest to try to convince us that we should renounce our superior God because if we, re if we renounce our superior God, the only God, then, then we won't be a superior nation anymore. So... I, I don't have a lot of time, so I gotta I gotta cover this super quick. Um, if you have any questions, um, you, you may feel free to write me as always at americasmansman.com, and I will be happy to oblige if if I if I'm able to. Um, we're getting a lot more mail recently, so um, uh, so pardon me if it takes a while to uh, to get back. I will try my very hardest, but um, the whole uh, the whole thing about uh, so. Long story short, when we when we violate God's precepts, when we uh, when we go against what we're told to do in, in Scripture, especially the number one commandment, um, it's the number one commandment for for a reason, um, and that is uh, not because not because of some uh, eccentric and devious marketing campaign that happens to be highly effective. Although the Bible, you may argue, is that, but it's only because. It, it it's so darn effective in, in helping us and the Bible is a reflection of God's personality and our maker's personality is a reflection of our own personality so long story short if we curse the Lord we're really cursing ourselves um, and I that may sound to you if, if for people who don't know the nature of the Bible and how it was composed um, really know how it was composed that may seem that may seem like like mind over matter, or like I'm trying to scare you, and I'm um, and I'm I'm not trying to maliciously scare you or, or try to manipulate you. Uh, I am, however, suggesting that seeing that uh, the the Bible is at even from a secular standpoint composed of um, the the wisest the wisest men of all time. It's been checked and rechecked many times through the centuries and is the most marvelously uh, marvelously cohesive, most comprehensive um, reflection of, of our DNA as humans. Um, that it is, um, I suppose that from, if, if you're taking this from a secular standpoint, which I'm not, but if you are, um, I, I want to try to explain it to you folks who, who don't, uh, who have a difficult time grasping the idea of this kind of far off deity in the sky who has no relevance to you, even though nothing could be farther from the truth. Um, you're essentially renouncing a, a book which has, um, which has been the guiding light of, of the wisest people who have ever existed and have thrived, um, uh, by by better understanding themselves uh, through the holy words of scriptures, the at the um, the acronym adage or, or what have you this uh, this that Bible B I B L E stands for basic instructions before leaving Earth. Um, I, I've found experientially that when I uh, when I do violate the um, the rules in the Bible. Uh, or they, they not not even I hate to call them rules because it's it, it's a it, they they really are what's best for me I know that personally um, and 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 you might say oh fine well you know what's what's the, if that's best for you then yay Jesus for you but I'm gonna go you know, follow Buddha or whatever well I mean it's it's really uh, it's it's more complicated than that and um, and I know that's what the the, the again it's this relativist um, fake news atheistic communist gospel that that aims to belittle. Um, the very secret to America's exceptionalism and our success. But we are an exceptional nation today because we followed the words in that book as if it were God as it were. And uh, I, I guess I just want to suggest to you in the short time I have to um, tackle this subject, even though I could, I could talk for hours about it, that... Um, 
you know, you just have to trust America's Man's Man on this one for now, and we'll develop this more later. And again, feel free to write via americasmansman.com. By the way, you need to subscribe directly at americasmansman.com if you're not subscribed already, because um, this video uh, will disappear. Um, it's in, it's out of my hands. It's beyond our control. Um, because, uh, well, you know, because we are a threat to the people who are profiteering off of you when you watch uh, videos wherever else you're watching them, which is why it's very important that you get in the habit of viewing them at americasmansman.com because uh, they may disappear from some of the other places where you may be watching this, and I won't be able to do anything about it. Um, that's why we're building americasmansman.com, and we've built americasmansman.com so that uh, so that the... Um, for posterity, for your personal, um, your personal edification and growth, they will be there. They're not going to go anywhere, um, so that you can all. They'll always be there as a as a re as a resource for you, so that you may uh, you may know the wisdom that um, that is really responsible for all of your um, all of the blessings that uh, that we enjoy here in in God's exceptional nation, the United States of America. Um, thank you so much for uh, for making an investment in yourself and your country by wa and your family and, and those and your friends by watching uh, by continuing to follow America's Man's Man dot com. Uh, the bottom line: when you take the Lord's name in vain, you're you're really cursing yourself and uh, and and you're killing your own conscience, so to speak. You're uh, or you're you're polluting your own conscience and your conscience is truly your compass it is a survival tool it's uh you don't want to, when you're lost in the woods you don't want to you don't want to uh you, you don't want to demagnetize your compass because because then you you really have uh, significantly less chances of of getting out and you're gonna you're gonna bump into a lot of you're gonna you're, you're going to you know you may freeze to death um or you may you know you may uh i don't know you, you may never you may starve to death and that's why, um, long story short, you should never take the Lord's name in vain. What does that mean? Uh, oh my God, uh, you know, uh, you know, just saying Jesus Christ in something in some other way than a, in a prayerful, rev reverent way. Um, it's not about someone trying to control you or tell you what to think. It's quite the opposite. It's it's uh, it's that it, when you do this, you're actually less likely for a variety of factors that I'm not developing here. But again, I, I can and will. Um, uh, you're you're actually less able to think for yourself, to be able to think critically uh, if you if you destroy your own conscience by mocking your uh, your creator. Um, whether you happen to believe that that creator is the literal God of the Bible or, uh, or even the process of evolution, uh, with the mythical process of evolution, um, which, uh, whether, anyway, um, so don't just, don't take the Lord's name in vain because, because you're only hurting yourself. And that goes for all of the Bible, really, um, once you understand just the weight, the wisdom uh, that that's uh, that's simply loaded, the layers and layers and layers of meaning that are just simply um, baked into those words uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, um, Father God, and Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. This is America's Man's Man, America's Man's Man.com. We'll see you there.